everything is fully parametric. So then we also have grids, which which include the um, the column grids um, going in the south and the east-west and the, the south-north directions. And so those are just a collection of, of lines and points which we, we use to build our columns and our partitions off of. And, um, and then we also have a building envelope, which in this case, because we kind of have a, a um, sort of non-standard uh, curving envelope, um, we, need, we need something to, to build everything off of. So in this case, if we look inside this, this part, we'll see that we have a, a design surface. And that design surface <clears throat> is used to uh, base all of these panels and steel that we've modeled off of. So again, um, I'm just going over things briefly, but I wanted to to get your your head in the right place when it comes to how digital project works and how it's different from other modeling environments. Basically, it's you build more from the ground up, but the parts that you build in the beginning, in this case, uh, the parts that I have built inside these this driver product, is um, are all fully linked to all the other elements, the walls, the, the columns. And so if I needed to do a, a large um, change to the configuration of the model, then I would go back, I would, I would return back to the, the elements within these, um, the drivers located in here, and um, edit these and it would because it's linked to the rest of the model would drive the, the geometry and change all the dimensions while at the same time re retaining the dimensions I've already placed like the thickness of walls and all the rest of it would still be retained I would just be changing the the overall floor height or grid um, size, whatever I, I needed to change. So, um, so basically the way it's, it's organized here, broken up into floors, I'm going to open up the, uh, the hotel level one floor and, and I see that in addition to to it being broken up into floors, I also have it broken up into structure and architecture. So that's what the STR stands for, the ARC. Pretty straightforward. But as you can see, the name of the of the files continues to get um, it, it continues to have something added to it uh, at the end in order to be able to track its location. Because you can see, based on the name of the file, um, in this case, MAR building one, up to one, level two, structural slab. So slab tells us what's inside this, this file. And everything else before that basically tells us where, where this file is located within the whole model tree. And in general, that's important because if, if someone is looking at these files, and they've drilled down within the, the file structure. They they need to understand why, you know, where is this where exactly is these are these columns located, what floor, what part of the model? And they can tell right away based on the model name. Now if you want to be able to locate um, and see that that relationship between the the model tree 
and the actual model files. Um, one way to check that is if we right click, go ahead and right click on that file now, and go down to properties. Now the properties window um, gives us a whole host of things. It, it gives us the name of the <clears throat> of the instance of this file, and that's something um, in general you don't want to change that here. But it also it also shows exactly where it's located locally on your on your computer. So if we wanted to to quickly be able to locate that that file, we could say, okay, I'm going to select everything here. I'm going to copy it. And then I might go to some open um, Windows Explorer window. I'm going to paste it in. Oh, it's going to open another session. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Make sure before you do that to, uh, to erase the last, uh, last bit of the address at the end. Which that, it just uh, included the, the file. So don't uh, don't make that same mistake. Just make sure that file you've decided not to include the file. I'm gonna copy that. So this is good. This at least shows you what happens when you double click a file. Basically, it's gonna open another session of Visual Project which I don't want. I'm going to close that out. Paste that in. And so it takes me straight to to the location of the file and I'm going to look, what was it called? It's called MAR Building 1, Level 1, Level 1, Level 2, Structural Slab. So there's there's my file located there. <coughs> In general, um, it's uh, it's going to be important for for not only your sake but also the uh, collaboration within a team that you are able to uh, that you're able to uh, find these files in the same way that they're organized in the tree in your file structure. <clears throat> so let me talk a little bit about why um, why we have so many files. Okay, most uh, building, most BIM environments um, have their own their own way. Some deal with only one file. So they have one humongous file which includes all your data um, which uh, through different methods uh, a team of people are able to dice up and, and share. The way it works with Digital Project is we have many 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 f different files. They're all organized in a hierarchy and the reason for that is so that we can have this whole file this whole file system with our, our parts and products shared globally. So we can have a team of people um, located halfway around the world from each other and we share this file with them. Um, at uh, Gary Technologies we have um, <clears throat> we have uh, implemented uh, a um, a system which allows people to check files in and out, um, and this system basically uh, anyone globally can see the same set of files and say, "I want to work on, you know, I'm going to work on level two, so I'm going to go to my level two, and I'm a, I want to work on all these files, and they'll they'll take those files and they'll check them out so that no one else will be working on them." and overwrite them and then they'll do their work and they'll check it back in. So it's just like borrowing a library book. You, you, you submit your request, you check out the book, 
you do 